All right, so this morning we're going to do some uh, multiplying with fractions. Um, so the big thing to remember for this rule is that it's always top times top over bottom times bottom. Uh, oh, that's not how you spell bottom. There we go. So if we look at this one, we've got 2 times 2 on the top. And then on the bottom, we've got 4 times 3. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 3 is 12. The one thing we could think about here is, is there anything I can divide the top and the bottom by? That's called simplifying. And um, I know, checking my times table chart, that both of these can divide by 4. So 4 divided by 4 will be 1, and 12 divided by 4 will be 3. And that is the answer to question 1. Now for question two, we just have to remember we have to change the mixed numbers before we do anything. So when we look at this sum, what you might remember is that little circle that we do. So we go bottom number and then around. So we times and then add. So same thing over here, we're gonna times these two together and then we're going to add this to the answer. So it's going to become 2 times 3 plus 2 over 3. And then this one, same thing, bottom number times by the big number, adding the number on top over the bottom number. And then we're going to work that out. So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 is 8 over 3. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3 over 2. And... We're timesing. Now we can do our top and bottom stuff. So bottom and top. And so we're going to have 8 times 3 is 24. 3 times 2 is 6. With this one, what we can see is that the number on the bottom is smaller than the number on top. So we're going to say how many 6s fit into 24? And it's a lovely 4. So that will be our answer for question 2. So then uh, if we go to question three, a salon uses two bottles of nail polish and each of them are two thirds full. Now with this question, there's just one little thing we need to know and that's fractions and whole numbers. So this is the number two for two holes times by two thirds. Now what you'll notice though is that the whole number doesn't have a bottom. So all whole numbers will have the number one on the bottom, okay? Then we're just going to do the same steps across and across. And so I'll see what you get there. Just remember to then uh, simplify the bottom into the top. For question four, uh, we've got the same sort of thing here with three bottles at three quarters. So just remember whole numbers need to go over one. Give that one a go. And then for question five, we've got the same thing, four small bottles of lotion that are one third full. So same thing, a whole number goes over one. And I'll let you do those and we'll see what we get and we'll check them together.